Hello, I'm Michael Morrissey, and I'm seeking re-election to continue serving as your Norfolk District Attorney. Prior to becoming District Attorney, I founded and managed what grew to be a good-sized law firm and served as a member of the State Senate. What I learned from those years has been very helpful to me. The District Attorney's Office. I now run also Norfolk County's largest law firm with more than 60 attorneys and 100 total staff. What I learned during my years in the legislature is that the answer to a surprising variety of problems is to get people access to the help that they need. That philosophy is carried over in my time as district attorney. Partnering with our local police departments, municipal governments, school departments, and community organizations to build and protect the strength and safety of our communities. There is no doubt that a lot of the crime that happens day to day requires a swift response and consequences. Citizens turn to their police department for their immediate safety, but they turn to the court process for lasting justice. I've assembled a very talented pool of attorneys and invested in them, getting them the specialized training and education they need to deal with complex and sometimes difficult cases. I have implemented a Conviction Integrity Committee to look at our cases even after they have been resolved. Every attorney in my office knows that I measure our success not by the number of convictions we secure, but by getting the right answer, wherever justice falls. Sometimes a long sentence is required to protect a victim from a perpetrator or to protect a community from a patent of, from a patent of crime. We don't shy away from that responsibility. Being tough on crime is simple. Being smart on crime requires tremendous levels of dedication and creativity. And that is what I demand of my attorneys and their supervisors every day on a case-by-case -case basis. As we look to deliver justice, across the county. Massachusetts has the lowest incarceration rate of the 50 states, but we still rank near the bottom in violent crimes. There are cases where a year of substance abuse, mental health, or other treatment will do more to prevent a defendant from reoffending than spending that year in a cell. That is why I've worked with the court to establish the first Veterans Treatment Court in New England. We have maintained an active drug treatment court in Quincy District Court, a mental health court, and a domestic violence session. We work to find durable solutions because breaking that cycle of crime in one offender's life can also change the trajectory of that family and possibly the entire community. We work to do that through our overdose and anti-opioid work with police departments and by connecting users to treatment with our domestic violence prevention work, our financial crimes work, and our work with the senior communities. We also help our schools with the training and resources that they need to deal with the problems that people like my father, who was a teacher, and his colleagues never dreamed of when he was teaching at the vocational school in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. I'd like to think that our partnership with the schools and our support for the police departments and communities and the coalitions as they work to keep their kids safe and healthy plays a part in Norfolk County having the lowest rate of children in juvenile detention in the state. There are many times when crime is what it is and that requires one response. There are also times when something is both a crime and a symptom of a deeper problem than sitting in a cell would at best briefly pause. It requires experience openness and a great deal of work to see where justice and future public safety lie on a case-by-case -case basis. That is the work I ask you to allow me to continue. Finally, the pandemic and the extended closure of the courts across the state have created unacceptable backlogs and delays everywhere. There are victims and victim families who are being forced to wait too long for justice some of whom I've developed a close personal connection with and I'd like to see those cases through and see our work to resolve those backlogs through to success. You can now vote, early voting is occurring as we speak, and you can also vote by mail. I'm, I'm Michael Morrissey, and I'm asking for your vote on September 6th, the state primary election day. Thank you.